and family it is a wonderful Saturday afternoon and we are hanging out down here by the gutter fall and this tree you see behind me here is going to go away it blocks so much of the view uh, down here the there was a, a beaver fall and uh, it's still growing I think everything else down here when the beavers shoot it just decides to cooperate and make more branches and stuff but as you can see it is uh, super full of branches so we're gonna cut it out of here and we're probably gonna plant some of it somewhere sort of try to use it maybe like a natural fence and uh, other than that we've been enjoying the day we uh, dug a hole earlier and we peeled the log and uh, I don't know we might be able to show you that we have a little bit of battery and a little bit of memory left so we'll see how far that gets us uh so then i guess uh we'll come right back and here we are again and behind me if you can see that is a big giant space where the tree used to be and up there on the left up up over here along the side of the bank there we put all the tree branches kind of all face in the same direction so at some point maybe we'll get in there and chop them up other than that like look at all this beautiful space we are gonna grow the greatest skunk cabbage here the world has ever seen all right folks I guess that's uh I got one more thing to show you maybe and then uh that'll be it uh we'll be right back so the day is winding to a close and uh just thought I'd come up here and show you on the other side what we did today. I dug a hole in the log. We're going to be doing kind of a post structure. So there's there's the log. Yeah, all peeled up nice and easy. We're going to get that dry out a bit. Um, and dig a hole. That is the pile of dirt from the hole. And the hole itself is pretty good sized. I cannot, uh, looks pretty natural there, right? Uh, I can't get uh, my fingers to touch the bottom even if I get my shoulder like all the way down inside the hole. So, so there's that. This is a, a tool I used to uh, to, uh, peel the log with it's actually I think a little kid's shovel I got a goodwill for whoa 599 I paid 599 for this at goodwill I I got... well you know what it's worked out really well it's got a little bit of a curve to it uh, so 
I've been using this as a peeling spot and it's been working awesome. So anyhow, there's uh, there's was one. Uh, the dirt came out, I actually dug out a really nice hole. The dirt uh, wasn't super wet, it's just sand and clay. So there's log number one. And uh, this probably is gonna be log number two. And uh, we'll probably do the hole right there where you see that stick. And uh, yeah, so let's see how much stuff has grown up. Uh, yeah, really limits visibility once these trees start popping. I can't see nothing uh, for a certain distance in some places. The really small ones shoot out a bunch of leaves and, and they're uh, at ground level or eye level. So, yeah, see, we can still see some light over there. Well, we'll see next time. Hey, look at our chair. Okay, folks. Uh, until next time, uh, stay out of trouble. So this is what all of my hard work for the last couple hours has achieved. I have jammed a bunch of stuff into the ground there. You can see I used some of the old wood that I had here to fill that up. And there's still a little bit of standing water back there, but kind of took all the mud. Stamped it down, filled up all the holes as much as I could. There's still... There's still some water back there, but look at all this space. And uh, there hasn't really been sunlight in here for a long time. So, pretty excited to see what's going to grow in here. I'd imagine uh, skunk cabbage. Yeah. And uh, some of those uh, reedy things. What do you call them? Uh, cattails. All right. Wow, look at the size of that one over there. That thing is like almost as tall as I am. Okay, gotta go. Bye-bye.